Jason Ewald is the Beverage Operations Director for Oklahoma City Restaurant Group, A Good Egg Dining. His job is more than just being a booze expert, but a great base of knowledge helps. To be a triple threat in the beverage industry, you need to know liquor and beer and wine, um, and along with the liquor cocktails, of course, and so that's been a focus of mine uh, since I've taken this job. But with my background um, as a, a, restaurant, a restaurant operator and then as a wholesaler selling fine wine, uh, it's really been fun to, to, to jump into a job where I get to get out of that comfort zone and to where it's just as important to know beer uh, as a connoisseur um, or cocktails as a connoisseur. The great challenge of my job is to keep up with, on one extreme, Red Prime, our contemporary American steakhouse with 300 plus wine selections. And then at the other end, uh, Republic Gastro Pub, um, where we have uh, 100 draft beers, uh, 300 plus bottle beers. Um, and in the middle, we have a, an urban barbecue restaurant that does kind of a continental bar selection. And the one I'm probably most proud of is Cheever's, uh, the original concept uh, for this dining group, where we have a perfect balance. The cooler at Republic Gastropub is not your run-of-the-mill walk-in refrigerator. It has a precise system that regulates and transports beer to the bar exactly the way Jason intends. We have 100 taps. Each one of them has a dedicated line and a foam detector, a little ping pong ball. The ping pong ball, when the beer runs out of the keg, it falls to the bottom and clogs the hole and prevents foam from running through the line to the tap. So this is the colder part of the keg room. And we just wanna make sure that it's not too cold up here um, and that it's not too warm downstairs. Over here we have all of our, what are called trunk lines. These are bundles of draft beer lines going up through the ceiling and then out to the bar, they're bundled with these glycol lines that uh, actually run super cold fluid. And actually the beer is colder when it reaches the tap than it is in this room. Jason says it's not so uncommon to be passionate about beverages, but his job also calls for a solid business mind. When they hired me for the job, they basically said, you'll be creating what that means because they didn't really have a position before uh, that, that did the same thing. And so those duties have been defined by what needed to be done. But um, really it's, I'd say you put it in maybe three or four different uh, areas. One is systems, figuring out what our systems are, what procedures we should follow. Uh, another one is product selection, so figuring out what we're going to have uh, on our menus. And then the other one would be uh, pricing to determine you know, what the going rate is for various things and how to um, uh, give the consumers what they need, give them value so that they're coming in the door, but also then to maximize profits.